Hi everybody, Nick here, and what you're looking at is the very first production F-Zero camera. I'm just gonna walk you through what all the new parts are and give you an idea of how this works in its most basic sense. This isn't gonna be a super, super in-depth video, but I'll tell you about the new parts over here and the revisions to the parts you've already seen. What's important to know is that all the backer kits are finished to the extent that you see here on this table. Everything has already been fully machined, drilled, threaded, anodized. It looks exactly like you see it here, and it's just about ready to ship out. Um, we've been going through some issues with the bellows, uh, as noted in the updates, and so we're still finalizing that, but everything else that you see here is done and ready to ship to you, so it will be shipping soon. Uh, you'll be getting all of the screws that you see here. We are going to ship way more than you could ever need just to make sure that you have extras. Sometimes finding little low head quarter 20s like this can be a challenge. And so we just decided to give you extras of most of the things that you need. Okay, so let's walk around the camera a little bit. These two parts are our lens carriers. You might call these standards in regular large format photography. They will hold either the objective lenses over here or the plate against which you'll place the lens of your taking camera. This is about an 80 millimeter hole and so it can either be used with certain matte box standard parts or you can use a step up ring and then just put your camera flush against this. Um, it should be a pretty universal way to put your taking camera's lens right up to the system and still have everything be nice and light sealed. These uh, lens carriers and the sensor box, they've all been revised a little bit to make them just a little bit easier to use. There are no more washers or additional plates like you might have noticed on the prototype. There's just the lens carrier itself and then these clips that help hold the bellows in place and the thumb screws. So you just slide this guy into place, lock down the thumb screws, and it's good to go. All right, the sensor box is mostly the same other than that revision I just talked about related to the bellows geometry. Uh, inside there are rubber gaskets on all the interior faces to make sure you don't scratch any of your glass elements. Uh, those elements obviously aren't here, I'm going to do another video later demonstrating how to assemble all of that together. It's a fairly delicate process that you only want to do once in a very nice dust-free environment. So I'll show you all of that later. The gantry plate is very much like what you saw in the prototype with the exception that it's now a little bit longer just to give you a few more rows for adjustment and um, versatility, things like that. It's pre-drilled with all the holes you need countersunk so that nothing uh, protrudes out the bottom so it should be easy to mount on any kind of slider component. The two new components are right here. This is the rail clamp and mounting plate. It's going to be used in every assembly of the F-Zero camera not just those that need the Cine clamps and I'll show you why in a minute. And then the camera mounting plate. This is a super robust 10 millimeter thick chunk of aluminum with holes everywhere so that you can get your camera mounted right at the optical axis of the system quickly and easily. So I'm gonna show you just a really quick demo assembly of how these things work together. It's not gonna be a totally complete assembly, but it'll be close enough to give you an idea. So the first thing we do is to mount the real clamp. There's just a few quarter 20s down here. Once we've got that mounted to the gantry plate, then we add the lens carrier for our taking camera's lens. And finally the sensor box. Okay, so this is your basic setup. We have the gantry plate onto which is mounted the rail clamp, the lens carrier, and the sensor box. Then what we do is we take the camera mounting plate and we're gonna mount that directly to the rail clamp plate. And there are enough holes for continuous vertical adjustment to get the camera wherever you need it to be such that your lens is at the optical center of the system. If you have some tiny camera that's only like two millimeters tall, 
you can flip this such that it gets way taller. Uh, not a lot of cameras are going to be that way. Even a GoPro will probably be fine to mount using the plate in its normal orientation, but for anything that I'm not thinking of, I made sure it would be okay, because this can go past the optical center of the system when it's in this orientation. But normally, you're going to mount it this way, so I'll show you that way. Okay, and so that is how the system looks generally on the taking camera side when it's all ready to go. And now we have a bunch of holes here through which you can put some more screws to mount either an Arca Swiss clamp, a Manfrotto 501 clamp, or just put a screw directly into the bottom of a camera. And it should provide you plenty of adjustment and room to get the system exactly the way you need. Um, on the other side of the system, of course, we would have our taking lens carrier and our taking lens. It, this works exactly as it did in the prototype. You mount the lens to the board and then four screws puts the board onto the lens carrier. And then that will go onto a system that either stays put while the main gantry slides towards and away from it, or the main gantry stays put and this slides towards and away from it. I'll do some more videos demonstrating that kind of thing soon, but this one I just wanted to give you an overview of the system, show you the new parts, and let you know that these are all complete and ready to ship exactly as you see here. We're just ironing out the final details, which hopefully will be done soon. Okay, thank you for watching, thank you so much for being part of this project, thank you for your patience, and I hope to have another update for you very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.